Hello and welcome to my channel, I Went to Lose Gaming. It's time to build the snowman, has been released. And with it comes another 4 star free to play weapon, the Cinnabar Spindle. In today's video, we'll take a look at how the Cinnabar Spindle is both the best free to play weapon to date and also the worst free to play weapon to date. Let's quickly go over what this weapon does and how it works. At level 90, this weapon has a pretty low 454 base attack and 69 nice. percent defense. As of making this video, my Cinnabar Spindle is at refinement 2, and it increases elemental skill damage by 50% of your character's defense stat. At refinement 5, this will be 80% of your character's defense stat. This effect can occur once every 1.5 seconds. Now what exactly does this 80% additional damage mean? If you're familiar with the damage formula, this is added as what I like to call flat damage. Flat damage is not affected by the skill multiplier unlike the attack stat, but is instead added onto the amount of base damage your skill would have done. To simplify this explanation, all you really need to know is that it is affected by the usual crit, enemy defense, elemental or bonus damage, resistances, and any applicable reactions. In Albedo's case, of course, there are no damage amplifying reactions for geo damage. The next thing to take note of is when you plop down Albedo's elemental skill, and assuming it hits something, the plop will consume the added defense damage. So following up with Albedo's normal attack to hit the enemy with the Blossom won't result in that Blossom gaining the flat damage gain from the Cinnabar Spindle. So attacks in quick succession are limited to a single one of those hits doing increased damage based on your defense. And last but not least is that the weapon's 80% defense based damage bonus is based on that character's current defense stat. In other words, it does not snapshot like Albedo's flower does when you toss it down. While not too important as of today, this can affect this weapon's interactions with a character like Goro, but we'll have to see for sure when Goro is released. Anyway, let's actually see how good this weapon is on my Albedo. Well, we're getting 23,000 crits on his Blossom with just Zhongli's shield. Albedo with his elemental skill was able to one cycle the Cryo Regis Vine. Next we have the Harbinger of Dawn. The Harbinger of Dawn did quite well as well, doing 17.6k damage blossoms, but it fell quite a bit short of being able to one cycle the Cry Registvine. Now let's break this down with some more concrete math. This chart is for my current albedo stats, which by the way has a really bad balance in crit rolls, and I'll be farming this dungeon for quite a bit longer. We can see that with the Harbinger of Dawn, while it drastically improves the crit ratio, and while its buff is up, as the baseline for this chart, the Cinnabar Spindle at Refinement 2 is doing around 9% more damage on its blossoms. Once the Cinnabar Spindle hits Refinement 5, we can expect it to do around 20% more average damage on its blossoms. Both of these weapons do suffer when their passives are down, but honestly for the Cinnabar Spindle, you don't normally keep Albedo on field, like I did in these showcases, and thus his passive won't have nearly as much uptime issues. And just for fun, let's see how much my Refinement 5 Mist Splitter does. Sadly, it only does around 23.9 thousand damage on crit. Barely any better than a Refinement 2 Cinnabar Spindle. Wow. So in other words, the Cinnabar Spindle at Refinement 2 is basically doing as much as my Refinement 5 Mist Splitter is for Albedo's Blossom damage. And one last damage showcase, let's go plus ultra with food and a crit fish build to see how much Albedo can do with his Bloom with a Refinement 2 Cinnabar Spindle. 57,392 damage. While not nearly as impressive as other nukes, for an Albedo E tick, this is fairly impressive. I can't wait to see how much Albedo Z can do once Goro is released. So now let's quickly talk about the Cinnabar Spindle on other characters. This weapon is literally practically useless on all of them. The bonus damage it adds is minuscule on characters that do not build defense, which by the way, is all of the other sword characters in the game. However, the Cinnabar Spindle is literally the best in slot option for Albedo's off-field blossom damage. 
Since this is a free-to-play 4-star event weapon, Mihoyo is clearly trying to get people to pull on Albedo by providing us all with his best weapon for free. So there you go, my analysis of the Albedo Bar Spindle. All in all, this weapon is amazing on just Albedo and provides him with a buff that he deserved. However, sadly, this weapon is not useful on any other character in the game, thus making this the worst free-to-play weapon thus far if you do not have albedo. But with this weapon being the best weapon, literally for albedo, this is also one of the best free-to-play weapons if you do have albedo. Perhaps in the future, there will be more defense scaling sword characters. But as of today, I hope you enjoy your albedo bar spindle. Also, I regularly make Genshin Impact videos, ranging from Caesar showcases, DPS showdowns, guide videos, and more. So be sure to smash the subscribe button as it's the best and easiest way for you to support my work. Also, don't forget to like the video and leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. This is I Went to Lose, signing out. Okay.